In order to update a record, we first need to get the object of that record. In order to get that object, we should start with instantiating the entity key class, passing over the set of all objects, the name of the property, the property which is the primary key, and the value the object we are looking for as inside of that property. Then we can use the get object by key method in order to get the object we want to update. Then we update the object. In this case I change the name and when calling save changes on our context we indirectly update the database with the changes. Let's see how does it work. Well, you can see that the name of the course HTML5 Jumpstart was changed into Introduction to HTML5.